Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Grace has brought us this far. Somebody shout grace. It is by his grace. The almightiness of God. Divine empowerment of God. Grace is stronger than power. Somebody say I hear. Grace is stronger than what? Power. Satan has power and can contend with any power. But Satan has no grace. So he can't fight a man with grace. Somebody say, I hear. No, Satan can't fight a man with what? With grace. For grace is totality of the presence of God upon a man's life. It's the almightiness of God manifesting when every mightiness of a man expires. That is the enablement, that divine element of God that enables you to venture into the unknown. And that is what gives you assurance that tomorrow is better, even though you are going through pains at the moment. That's what inspires you when you look back and see that it was not your power, it was not your strength, it was not your education, it was not what you know, it was not what you have done. Because many people have done better than you, yet you seem to be better than them. The undeserved reward. That's favor. Undeserved. You don't deserve it, but you are given. It is favor from heaven. It is the divine capacity that incapacitates all struggle and all, chain, all, all chains of the wicked one and make them useless in your life. Friend, listen, if there is anybody to fear in life, it's not a man with power. It's not a man with charm. It's a man under grace. Yes, <laughs> because he can spring up a surprise at any point in time. When you think that it is over, the man rises up. So when I hear the scripture says that the righteous fall it seven times and rises again seven times, I see grace speaking. I see grace doing what? Speaking. Just look at your life. It's by grace. When there is food, by grace. When there is none, by grace. When there is rent, by grace. When there is no rent, by grace. I was in Lagos recently and we were driving past in a place and my son was telling me, he said, these people, they, sleep, they live here. And they put on tie early in the morning. They take their bath about four, five o'clock in the morning before people will come out. All they have is under the bridge. While he was telling me, the Lord said to me, some of the people who slept on that bridge many years ago are now leaders of the nation. They are champions. Papaya is one of them who was sleeping on that bridge in Lagos. And look at what grace has done in his life. This grace will carry you if I hear you say amen. I spoke to you about this grace that qualifies you when you are not qualified. 
And that grace is called favor. And I spoke to you last week about favor. And I said to you, there are certain things that happen with favor. When favor comes on you, that favor is divine system of advantage. Favor is when God gives a man divine speed. And God goes into your past. Look at what you ought to have been, which you are not. And look at what you will be in future, which you are not. And God goes in and calculates all. And bring 10 years of the past and bring 5 years of the future. And slap you with them at the same time. And you become a wonder. Ah, oh, somebody didn't hear what I said. You become what? And people begin to wonder what happened. How did you overtake us? We began before you. Somebody said divine speed. It is that, that divine speed that results into divine overtaking. And I was talking to you about Joseph and about Esther. I want to talk to you this morning with the little time I have the two things that you need when you are looking for divine access to success divine access to opportunities favor with God can I hear somebody say favor with God and favor with man I didn't hear you. Somebody say favor with God and favor with man. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in what? Favor. That means Favor has levels. Somebody needs to catch that revelation. Favor has what? Favor has levels. That means you need an increment in favor. If Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, then increase in favor with God and with man. It means there is no level of favor I need to settle on. I need an increase. Somebody say increase. I need an increase in favor. That means the, the favor I had in January is not what I'm expecting in February. I need increase. Somebody say increase. If my master himself increased. Now, there are two levels. Favor with God and favor with what? Man. I said something like this to you last year. That favor with God is spiritual. It can only be manifested when it has been translated, transmitted through men. Listen, in the kingdom of God, who does not like you doesn't matter. But in the kingdom of men, who does not like you matters. <laughs> if you don't get this, you will miss out. You will say, no, I don't need anything from man. God is everything. Listen, there is nothing that is in heaven for you. Everything in heaven is on earth here. It has been delivered to the sons of men. In the kingdom of God, who doesn't like you? Because God will do anything without anybody who doesn't like you. But in the kingdom of men, who does not like you matters. You know why? Whatever you are looking is in the hand of men. So whatever it will take you to provoke favor with men, do it. That is within the scripture, scriptural principle. 
out there, you need the favor of a man in your office. Among your business associates, you need favor. Don't behave as though you can succeed alone. It's not possible. In the compound where you live, you need favor from your neighbors in the street where you live, in the community where you are. You need favor. In that school where you are teaching, in that line where everybody has their shop, you need favor. Don't behave and say these are unbelievers. They cannot do you. Oh God. That's why the Bible says, say, look, do everything to live peaceably with what? All men. For you do not know who has what you are looking for. You do not know who can stand for you. Stop using spirituality to be wicked. You are holy. And you are disclaiming holy. You know all the cru cru things you are doing. You know. What you do not know is that this your holiness will jeopardize your tomorrow. If Jesus increased in favor, lift your right hand and say, Lord, I need somebody that I'm speaking to. Say, Lord, Lord increase, me. increase me. Increase my favor, increase my favor. With, you with you and men. Amen. Listen to me. Even if witches conspire against you, they will use men. Is that correct? Good. <laughs> if they don't find men to use, then you'll be free. If the people they want to use are people that you have favored and you have favor with, they will decline. Look at one of my, one of my friends. Uh, uh, our head, head usher knows this. One of my friends was attacked by the power that be. In the night, they gather him and put him inside a pickup. Surround him with two, military, two guys. Blindfolded him. The two guys wear masks and drove him off. That is the end of his life. But guess what? One of them said to him, I will not do what they asked us to do. My mother didn't have money to pay my school fees. And my mother came to you. You gave my mother money to pay school fees. I will not do it. That's how my friend is alive today. They disobey authority. You can never tell the favor you showed somebody that seemed to be nothing. You see, the favor we're talking about is not you showing favor to somebody who will show favor back to you. You are not different from unbelievers. It's showing favor to people that have nothing to offer to you. But let me tell you the truth. The favor we speak on your behalf one day when it appears nobody is there for you. As far as those who send them is concerned, he should be dead. You remember some years ago, one of our brothers, Greg Gobadia, was kidnapped. And they blindfolded him. And they took him to Akure Road and took him into the bush. The man that sent to kidnap said, don't kill him. I want him to know I'm the one that killed him. When he got there... He said, open his face. That was, that is favor. That is where grace did the talk. Oh. Grace is speaking here. Meanwhile, we were praying here in the compound for him. Mistaken identity. When they remove what they put on his face, he said, this is not the man. This is not the man. 
I sent you. He became angry. He said, take this man back. That's how Greg is still alive today. May this grace speak on your behalf.